And welcome back to Sons and Shadows. My name is Jeff. I am back with you with another unboxing, well, more of a pickup video. Um, we got a couple of fun acquisitions recently. We're going to start off with the Tremors franchise. We got the new singles release that came out a few months ago, uh, Tremors 3, Back to Perfection. Uh, Burt Gummer is back in this bad boy, and this is a fun one. They do a little bit of recasting, but they do have um, some of our, they do have a particular fun favorite return from the first movie. Won't spoil it if you haven't seen it, but it's, it's hilarious. It's a good, this is a very good sequel in the entry of Tremors, especially if you really like the second one. This really picks up from it, goes right back to perfection, and it keeps the story going. It's really good chemistry with the cast, and I would definitely recommend getting that. And followed up by... Tremors 4, the prequel that goes back to the Wild West. You might already be thinking, oh no, we're going to back to the future part three on this. Yes, to a point, but this actually gives you a different character with, uh, with uh, Bert's great-grandfather, where Michael Gross actually plays somebody who's not really into weapons. He's more of a rich tycoon, and he's... It's just a very different sort of character for him to play in this, and it's a bit of a prequel. The sets seem kind of sparse in this one, so it feels a little lower budget, but with Billy Drago in this, he brings the story and, the, and like just the overall funness to this movie. He really brings it up a notch, so this is a fun little prequel. And, you know, it keeps all of your favorite monsters going. This is this one actually has some bonus features. The part three does not actually have much of a bonus feature. It's just a spotlight on location sort of video. This one actually has, like, deleted scenes and, like, actual, yeah, you're on, on set, miniatures production. Um, S.S. Wilson's student film is on here, recorded live. I haven't seen that, so I am... Excited to check this out. I don't know if that was actually on the DVD or not. I don't think it was. If it was, I never saw that, so I never checked it out. And then as a follow-up to that, we got a nice little set from Grub, G-R-U-V dot com. This is Universal's own little website. They kind of treat it like a warehouse website. There's some pretty good deals, and they have sales pretty often. And... I got this sweet little Efford Hitchcock set, so everything's in 4K. The only thing I think you need to watch out with this is uh, making sure you get the correct version of Psycho. I need to open this up and check because there was some audio issues with that, but I am very excited to get all of these in 4K. Um, they definitely come with the Blu-rays, but I'm pretty happy with getting uh, the whole set. And this was at a very good price, so do check out. I believe it's in their um, box sale, box set sale section. They do have separate sections for different things, like 4Ks. They have a special buy three for X amount of price. They have warehouse clearances on DVD sale sets. We got Monk, the complete season, which is not up here for this video, but we got that at a really good price. We also got, um, we also got Voltron, seasons one through... What was that? Six? That's how Netflix broke them all up. Um, we got those. So I'm including that in the video now too because I'm a huge Voltron guy. And then we picked up a couple fun items from Amazon that have been long waiting to purchase. From BEI from Canada. Hey, We got Poltergeist the Legacy. Um, Infamous show that was canceled after three seasons on Showtime. Season four went to Sci-Fi Channel. Now, I'm not a big fan of the fourth season on Sci-Fi Channel, and not many other people were. However, season four does contain an episode that features Mark Calloway, also known as WWE slash F, The Undertaker, where he plays a, a devilish sort of character, a uh, specter sort of thing. But the first three seasons are actually very good. It's a shame Showtime canceled it, but this is also good fodder for doing a podcast with. And we're going to follow that up with another VEI. We got Viper. This was a show that was in syndication. Um, 
I, I love the car, the Viper itself. It's like a $75,000 vehicle from years ago. Um, this is a bit of a Knight Rider kind of style show that was, you know, you basically had to kind of look for it like Saturday afternoons, Saturday nights, Sundays, whatever was really a kind of in your market. It's kind of a dated reference for syndicating, but this is a, this is a fun show. It's very campy, but there's some really good fun car chases in here. They, it, the acting is okay, but overall it's a very fun show. They did change direction partway through the, the series itself. So it kind of took a different direction and tone, a little bit of recasting, but you know, it's a fun, it's a fun show. I'm looking forward to seeing how the packaging is. I believe these are just little, um, well, let's actually open this bad boy up. So this is going to be an unboxing video. I know Amazon has pictures of how these look, but this has got a slipcase of what it's around. And a big giant clamshell case. This is almost like a VHS clamshell case from like the good old days. Okay, this comes in like little CD sleeves. So you're going to get these all kind of like loose in here, but these are very nice sleeves. They, it's like a bind, CD binder, basically. So you got the 1994 through 1996. So things just kind of in here, but you can take it out and go flipping through them all. And that's going to be Viper which is another show that could possibly be used for a podcast, Sons and Shadows cast. If you are into podcasts and canceled sci-fi TV shows, do check it out. We have covered Ash vs. Evil Dead, seasons one through three. We have covered Mystery Science Theater 3000, the Comedy Central years. We had the Mads join us. It's a very fun show. Come and check us out. We also have our holiday episode. We have some fun episodes coming up, so thank you for joining us. And we'll see you down the road.